So my name is James Ralph Helsley. Um, and my position here at Graves Gilbert Clinic, I'm an orthopedic surgeon with a specialty in sports medicine. My name is Shane Riley and I'm one of the orthopedic surgeons here at Graves Gilbert Clinic. Uh, you know, general orthopedic care, we, when you come to see us, our, our focus is to really identify the problem and figure out how to make it better. You know, when you, when you come see me, my, my goal is to not put a band-aid on your problem, you know, not just, you know, tell you to do something and it's probably going to come back down the road. My goal is to find exactly what's going on with your problem, whether it be your knee, your shoulder, your hip, your elbow and once we diagnose it to find exactly what's going to make you better and get you back to full activity to where you need to be. Well orthopedics um, treats both non-op and operative. Obviously as an orthopedic surgeon we do do surgery but we try to get people better without surgery first. That's the goal and uh, we treat all sorts of injuries whether that be from trauma, hand injuries, sporting injuries, joints, arthritic joints, spine and neck. So there's a variety of musculoskeletal injuries we treat, but the thing that often people think orthopedic surgeon is surgery. Well, yeah, we, we can do surgery, but we try to get you better without surgery initially, and then when we fail all of that, then we may move forward to surgery if that's required. So arthroscopic procedures, you know, is, is something that you do where you make small incisions. You, for a knee arthroscopy, I make two small incisions, you know, about five millimeters in size. And you can do all of your work through that, utilizing a, a small camera and then small instrumentation that can take care of whatever's going on within the knee. And this goes for the shoulder as well. There's three main factors I always tell people that they need to try to eliminate before they undergo a hip or a knee surgery that's an arthroplasty. And one of those are, if you're diabetic, you need to get your glucose under control. So eating better is a good thing. If you are a smoker, preferably try to quit as soon as possible because it harms your healing and your soft tissues as well as your skin and bones. And last, if you're overweight, if you can, try to develop some kind of exercise program because not only will that help you lose weight prior to surgery, it will also get you ready for your post-surgery with your muscles being in better shape. So that's three factors I always hit immediately. When you come to my office, if you have a problem that we can treat non-operatively, meaning it's not something that has to have surgery, physical therapy is one of the main things that I go to. And this is something that's gonna take, you know, four to six weeks before you start seeing the benefits of the therapy. Um, also we can do anti-inflammatories, bracing, you know, injections are always something that we can do as well. But you know, like I said earlier, or like I recommend for all my patients, we want to find out exactly what going, what's going on with you, whether it be your knee or shoulder, and fix that problem. And sometimes it is just physical therapy, but other times it can't get better unless you have surgery.